what is up guys mx dude there so we're doing some more work on the 07 today as you guys can see el cause are in yep i'm just about to slap her on uh, i'm still missing all of my bolt zinc shop is still closed but uh, i still going to install the rear shock and temporary install the swing arm just because I want to install the swing arm, it's pretty simple, eh? No explanation to be to be saying. So I'm gonna do a bit of work. I'm gonna unpackage those things, and I'll talk to you guys in a few seconds. Okay, swing arm is on, temporary. I just got two uh, stainless steel rod holding it in place. So that one is semi-installed too. Still need to tie the boat. But anyway, here's the Elka. Rear one and the front ones. I probably bought like seven complete kits this year for Banshees. Everybody love Elkos, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna start with the rear one and then I'm gonna jump in, in front to install uh, those two. So I guess I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay. So I almost got carried away. So I got the rear shock installed. Rear bearing carrier is installed. I did grease it before installing it. Other people don't do that, but it's, it's a must. Because when you get to adjust it, it's pretty stiff. Now, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, I still need to mount the, the bottle. It's going here. And all the mounts are, yeah, all the mounts are right here. So I'm just gonna do that right after. I still need to install my ring, rear caliper. Axel, so I, I think I might be able to do a, a rolling chassis tonight. So actually I replaced my uh, stainless steel rod by some sleeve, A-arm sleeve. It's, it's tighter now, there's barely any loose, so I can probably do a little roller tonight. Quite happy about that. So, get back to you. Alright, I got one side installed, front Elka. I got the rear bracket installed as well with the big uh, C clip. I still mount the, I still need to mount the reservoir and that side. So it is coming along well. After that, I will install the axle, bolt up, grease the uh, the bearing carrier, and I might, I will be able to do a rolling chassis. That's freaking awesome. That's the other shock. Oh yeah, it look decent. It is made in Canada, actually. I'm in Canada, you know. Kind of shitty, but it is what it is. Talk to you and later. Boom! Just like that. Both front shock are installed. It look mint. Rear shock is installed as well. I'm about to install uh, my adjustable axle. Uh, all the hubs. I still need to go get... Oh, actually, this pocket is there, but I, I need to go in the house to go get my... Um, how the fuck you call it? My disc. Oh, yeah, I still need my hub. The hub for my disc brake is in there, so... Yeah. So let me do a bit more progress, and I will get back to you shortly. Like usual, you know? Nice very good all right we almost got ourselves a rolling chassis so all i need to do put the sprocket on my disc brake with the galloper both wheel and it's a rolling chassis pretty awesome actually i can pretty much put the wheels on put it on the ground and finish that later but uh, i am gonna finish to install the sprocket the disc brake and then it's gonna be a rolling chassis so it's coming along well. It's coming along well, to be honest. Oh yeah, I still need to mount my dam reservoir. Forgot. Sometimes I get carried away and uh, see, yeah. Still hanging. That's where I need to be. Somewhere in that position. So I guess I'm gonna go back at it, do a bit more work and get back to you. All right. So we got a rolling chassis. So she finally moved. 
Maybe not by herself, but she's a roller. Anyway, I was about to install my ill guard and I got carried away again. So rear wheel is on. Axle is on as well. It's pretty much a, a complete roller. Everything looks so clean. That's what I like about new bike. When you buy everything new and you start from scratch, that's what you get. Mint bikes. The alignment doesn't, need, the alignment doesn't seem too much off. I will need to do, uh, do a full alignment though, but uh, it is what it is. For now, it's good. Look how clean I look. Yep. Anyway, I'm gonna get a bit more work done and I get back to you shortly. Well, I did do more progress and I might as well call that damn video, I got carried away. So, see, we got a complete roller now. Exhaust are on, air box is on as well. Yeah. So I am, I am missing still a bunch of bolt, nuts and little spacer. But as you guys can see, I got a world, I got a roller. I was working on another project, but that's not gonna be shown on the on the channel right now. I might show it when it's done, but not right now. So we got a nice set of DMC, DMC alien pipes. I do like the the look of the mufflers. They look nice. Yeah. I love when it's shiny. So, like I say, airbox is on. Front air arm, well the complete front end is installed. I got the brake line, everything is installed. Radiator is installed, headlights are installed. Yep, yep, yep. At this point, I'm just showing a bit of the of the bike. I'm just showing the bike, that's all. And I think I'm going to end the video like that. Because it should be long enough. It should. It's nice, eh? I kind of like the look. It's pretty nice. Can't go wrong with everything new. Everything new, you know? Anyway, I guess that's going to be it. I will be talking to you uh, on the next video. Uh, like I say, I should be able to do two more videos on it. I should. Next video is probably going to be about uh, me putting in the engine. Putting all the, mi the missing bolts. Maybe do a startup. Final assembly. And that's it. So, those are nice. They, they do look good. Nice beat locks. Anyway, that's it guys. Peace out.